Hello, we are Real Juicy News and we're going to take another look at a free Linux operating system. You could probably download it at distro.org online for free. Uh, put it on a portable USB stick, then run it, trial it, where well, you don't have to install it. You can just test it to see if you like it see if it's great or see if it's total crap um, and then if you really like it and you want it then you can install it through this the uh, USB stick onto your current hard drive I like Linux because it's light it's free it's light and these less uh, virus viral attacks you just have to watch out for LibreOffice because when you run a scam with clam tk it may pick up puas and it's not pick up artists it's uh, potentially unwanted applications and possible malware okay possible okay. um could be false positive could be a virus pre-installed by ubuntu uh, through that system through that LibreOffice, okay. So just be aware of that. So today we're going to look at a Ubuntu desktop, and here it is. Here looks, man, yeah, looks okay. Not too bad a background. And what do we have here? We have uh, search your computer and online sources, home folder, which is just your basic desktop documents, downloads, music, pictures, videos, etc. Uh, it's even got examples there. Not too sure on that one. Check it out for yourself. Um, Firefox. Probably not the latest, but we'll have a look. So I just might move me over there a bit. Just a itty bitty bit right there. And. Oh gosh. Okay. help on this thing um, preferences okay the usual Firefox we can adjust it usual okay, go back actually power off quit Firefox okay so we're gonna see what version it is 47 okay so you'd have to update it you might not be able to use much add-ons it's on 47 the one I'm using on X2 Creative Studio 20 is probably 89 or 90 okay yeah, general Always check if Firefox is default browser, home page, download, search. What do you got to search with Google or DuckDuckGo? I'd rather use DuckDuckGo. Good privacy. Security, uh, content, block up pop up windows, applications, uh, privacy. Yeah, don't remember the history never remember the history said so probably don't have to wipe it but um okay cancel uh clear recent history or remove individual cookies okay last hour nah everything okay oh you can go offline site preference clear it just to um yeah gives you a bit of sense of security yeah. Remember logins for sites, use a master password, warning when sites to try to install add-ons, block reported attack sites or reported block reported web forgeries, extra security there. Sign in uh sync, sorry. Take a web with you, blah blah blah. Advanced yeah. data choices. Yeah, I 
don't really bother with these. It's up to you, the individual. Uh, overwrite automatic cache management. Update, automatically update search engines. Right, should take you from 47 to 89 or something like that. The latest certificates, uh, set, select one automatically. When a server requests my personal certificate. Okay, query OCSP responder, blah, blah, blah. Okay, set that. And you should be pretty good. Okay. Okay, I'm going to quit that. Okay, um, what's this? Office writer, Libre Office writer, Libre Office calculator, Libre Office impression, I guess. Ubuntu Software Center. It should give you um, additional software, say if you want a virtual box or um, some sound editor or whatever you're looking for, you might find it here. Yeah. Here's all different options here, books and magazines. If you're into that, okay, nothing's happening. So, it, this being an emulator. Or a simulator online sometimes things don't work uh, turn on recommendations okay it's basically that if you want uh, a VDMAX to edit videos which I use I find it's easier for me um, or whatever speech synthesizer synthesizer and I don't know Tweaks, themes and tweaks, office, internet, graphics, games, it's all there. Oh, there you go. Never played any of these. Yeah, board games, card games, probably something like uh, Solitaire or something, Patience, Poker, whatever you like if you're an older person, and so forth. You can find them all there. Okay, create videos, edit videos edit your photos and so forth okay uh, what's this system settings you might want to uh, change your appearance of brightness language this is security and privacy Bluetooth and so forth time and date you can adjust that for your uh, current location and so forth what would security and privacy do for you Okay, waking from suspend. Yeah, you can turn these off if you wanted to. Use your power settings. Don't suspend. Yeah, probably best to leave it on that. So when you're working, it doesn't suddenly turn off. You know. Yeah. Uh, what else we got here? floppy disk if you got one on your machine I wouldn't um, advise you have one these days because anyone can put in a floppy disk and copy files right all that sort of stuff that's why they don't have them on these modern machines anymore these are trash yeah what we got up here so look at the trash okay you can probably you might be able to change it in the settings somewhere you okay, got no trash to get rid of that, there's nothing in there. Okay, what do we got up here? Uh, what's this? Okay, internet connection, it's showing you that it's connected through your fiber or your broadband, whatever you're using. Hopefully, you're not using dial up. You use dial up these days. Okay, you got an English, so we can change it to a different language if you want. Got your volume, sound settings. Okay. Louder, you can make it louder. And then play speakers though. And yeah, if you're a bit hard on hearing. Okay. There's a funny noise in the background there. Okay, um use your date. Your time, your location, pretty much accurate. Just my location is different. 
probably I'm not in Berlin I'm way down here near Antarctica okay automatically updates the time for you 626 in the morning so we'll have a check it up here yep yeah, it's all good okay um, so that's it well, I guess you could change your background settings here that's software up there system settings let's see if we can change our background because it's yeah it's not too bad uh what do we got here appearance okay wow look at this different um backgrounds okay if you think that's ugly you can change it to something like that uh, not too sure Horses, if you like horses. Okay, what else we got? Okay, what have we got here? Go back up. Oh my gosh. Okay, you got that background. Do we had Starry Night? cartoon or something animation whatever that is the tree and yeah, look a bit ugly okay we might see if we can move us over okay we can just move us over here a little bit so we can have a look see what we got no it's not gonna work oh my gosh okay, maybe get it lower give you a glimpse of what we got no, it's too high okay Well, you can see it here, but it's better here, All right? Okay, um, yeah, different pictures. Depends on your taste and so forth. Okay, we'll go with this one. Like the old dark theme. Is this a mushroom? Yeah, mushrooms. Go with that one. Okay. looks better than that um, dark sky theme bit of magic mushroom there um, yeah and that's basically that so if you like it uh, go to distrowatch.org we'll put the name of the uh, operating system uh, below the video yeah, so subscribe to us if you like that and give us a like, each comment, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can on those. And don't forget to set that bell so you don't miss out on, on, on any of our uh, videos like this. And then go tell your friends, hey, um, that operating system you're thinking about trying, but you didn't really want to put it on your machine for different reasons, well, you can go to watch this video and he tells you how to do it you know um, so if you're looking for this particular Ubuntu desktop this guy covers it okay and then you can put it on your uh, floppy disk trial it as he suggests yeah and if you like it then maybe you can put it on a older machine you know unused unloved because um, Linux is pretty light you know on resources and RAM and all that sort of stuff and um, yeah so you don't have to throw that you know it's probably still a decent machine don't have to throw it out you can just put this Linux system on there it's free from distro.org okay easy as uh, uh, easy peasy to put on your computer your hard drive less viruses and so forth okay so yeah don't forget to subscribe give us a thumbs up if you like it and add your comments we'll get back to you as soon as we can on those because we really appreciate your uh comments and it's a big shout out to um the people who liked our video uh, kadashi os and a couple of others and added the comments yep yeah, thank you thank you very much and thank you uh, to all the other subscribers out there that stay loyal to us cheer 
uh, you're the bee's knees and we will see you on the next video